Hello everybody and welcome. I am Trimbar Tree and today in this video I'm going to show you some super useful beginner tips and tricks that will make your experience in this game a lot easier. Let's dive in. Okay, so you started up the game and somehow you ended up here in the workshop and you want to build a new plane. Well, let's start off with we need to pick a root part and it is super important that you pick a root part that will not get buried and is easy to attach to. The reason is a lot of aircraft parts are going to be a lot stronger if they're attached to your root part instead of something else. Here's some things that might not be super obvious but you need to know. First thing is you're going to get really familiar with the one, two, and three keys on your keyboard. So I'm going to just select a root part and now I one is place, two is offset, three is rotate. And these are really critical when you're building a plane. You're going to use them all the time. So I'll show you. Two is move the part, three is rotate the part. Now you can right click on almost every part and you can adjust what the part looks like or what it does. There's a lot of different things that you can adjust on just about every part. The next thing that's really important is to know about these buttons down here. Your center mass, center thrust, and aero stability. Now, we'll get to the stability later, but you see this green arrow here? That's your center of lift. If you want to turn it off, you can hit this toggle. Or if for some reason you can't find it, go up here, hit the gear icon, and make sure you turn it on. And now there's this button here that says Auto IAS, that's your simulated airspeed, and the game will automatically show you where your essentially ideal cruising speed and stability is. You can change it so that it will show you your stability at a specific speed. The next thing that's hard to find if you don't know what you're looking for is if you go to, here I'll show you one, down here in propulsion, there's a little icon way at the bottom right of that context menu that you see that says right click for more info. I'm going to right click this and this will tell you more information about your parts. So it'll tell you, for example, torque, efficiency, etc. for lots of different parts. And a lot of them won't say anything, but for example, on these wheel hubs, it tells you the suspension range, if it has a drive shaft, your steering range, your brake torque, etc. And this can be really useful, and if you don't know to right click, you might never see it. Okay, my next tip is to mention how important it is for symmetry on an airplane. If your weight is off-center, you're going to have a bad time. Now, the X button turns off symmetry, or you can turn it back on. And it's important because you're going to be pressing that X button a lot. There's also the V button for internal view, right? But I recommend when you're placing stuff like batteries and motors to place it in exterior view and place it on your root part and then move it into place. Now if I turn the symmetry off, I can still place it, but you see my center of mass, this yellow line here, move way off center. When you try to fly with this plane, it's going to be a nightmare. My next tip is about parent and child parts. Every part that you place can have child parts. And a really good example of that is if I move this wing here by pressing 2 and then moving it, the parts that were also placed on that wing move with it too. So you can see my control surfaces and my confetti cannon here are moving with the wing. It's important that when you're placing a part, if you don't want that part to move when you move its parent part, make sure you place it on your root part. And then the only thing that will move it is you selecting that specific part and moving it. But 
for example, if I move this tail here, you can see that there's some other stuff attached to it. And as I move the tail, lots of wacky things are going to move too. Alright, let me show you some other helpful tips about the workshop. If you're building a plane here and it's got a really goofy wing, you might notice when you go to put a control surface on that it doesn't want to line up with the wing. Well, here's what you can do. You can hit spacebar and now your control surface will line up with the wing. Sometimes you'll do that and it still won't be lined up. It can be helpful to go in, hit three, realign it this way or the other way. And that can help give you the nice fine tune look you're looking for. Also, you'll notice this little button down here, angle snap. While I'm rotating, you'll see that the wing sort of snaps to certain angles. If I turn Z off, I get much finer increments. You can also hold shift while you're doing this, and you'll get a nice fine rotation. You'll especially notice it when you're doing this. If you hold shift, you can get smaller rotations to get exactly the way you want it. There's also a nice little handy tip that I learned. If you go in here and you're trying to get this curve to be a specific number, and you're struggling, oh, I can't get it to exactly 60. If you take your cursor way out here and then move it, the wheel becomes more sensitive and you can get it to 60. Or if I want to get this to 2%, if I pull my cursor way out here, it's a lot easier to get it to the exact number. There's also one more handy tip that I bet almost nobody knows. If you're in the workshop and you feel like, man, why is it so dark in here? It's because you forgot to turn on the lights. So he'll hit Alt-L and you can turn on the lights in the workshop. Okay, my next tip is sometimes the game doesn't automatically combine your ammo canisters. So let's see, if I go ahead and do this and place these here, and then hit 4 for the connect button. As you can see, this canister hooks up to that gun, and this canister hooks up to that gun. And what you can do is go back into 4 and connect all your ammo canisters together and that will make it so that when you use your craft your ammunition will be combined. Alright, my next tip is about rockets. We have these rockets here and what you may not know is you can right click them and change the channel. This channel is a toggle T1, T2, T3, T4 when you're using the craft, you can press the 1, 2, 3, or 4 button to switch on or off the toggle. These are set to T1, so now if we, now we go to use the plane and I hit 1, alright, there we go, our rockets are taken off. Okay, this tip is about re resetting your rockets. You see these two rockets are already burnt out. Well, hitting refuel and recharge sometimes doesn't replace the rockets. Now you can go into the workshop, that'll fix it. You can put away the craft and pull it back out, or you can do what I like to do, which is cheat. Hit the enter button slash pocket knife, and this creates a workshop wherever you are. Entering the workshop resets the rockets, so now when we hit go again, the rockets are reset. Now if we want to make our craft invincible, you can hit slash fraggle like that, and now your craft is invincible. You can launch it, watch it crash, and it won't break apart. This can be really helpful if you're struggling to get your craft to stay together while you're flying. You can just put it in fraggle mode, have fun, test it out, and maybe eventually you'll figure out how to make it not break. And if you're really annoyed by those stress indicators, just hit F2 to turn it off. 
let's talk about auto trim. This game has auto trim, which is basically the computer automatically calculates how to keep your plane flying level. But sometimes this can cause issues, especially if you have a very highly specialized aircraft. You can turn auto trim on and off by hitting H. And as you can see, I turned it off and then as you can see, I turned it off and my craft immediately started diving down. If I hit H again, my plane will fly a lot more stable. You can use this to help you fine tune your craft because if you hit H and you start nosing down, that means you have a little bit too much nose weight. Or if you start pitching up, that maybe means you have too much tail weight. This is a good time to mention that there are also channels. If I go in here, this craft actually has multiple motors. But I'm going to select this one, and you can see the inputs here, and I can add different inputs, like pitch, yaw, roll, and you'll see these channel A, B, C, D. Okay. So what these channels do is you need to, you need to open up your settings, and you can see that the settings for controlling the channels are right here, channel A, G, and T, etc. These can be useful for setting up flaps, or in the case of my car boat plane, you can use it to control the motors separately. In this, in this vehicle, my throttle, shift and control, controls the main airplane exhaust ducted fan, but my wheels and my prop are controlled by a different motor that um, work instead of on throttle, they use forward and reverse. And so that makes it possible for me to fly the plane without having my prop or my wheels going all the time. Okay, next I'm going to show you a quick tip about the map. If you hit M, it opens up this map, and you can click right here to take you to any of these build spots at any time. Okay, so you can fast travel to one of those build spots, but what if you don't want to go to the build spot? Or let's say you're playing glider golf and you can't just fast travel to where your plane is. Well, there's actually a key that you can use to move your player to where your craft is. See, I stopped, hit F, and that will move you right to where your craft is. Alright, well that's all the tips I have for now. If you think I missed anything, please leave a comment down below. If the video was useful for you, please leave a like. And if you need more help, try joining the Discord or the subreddit. I'll put links to those in the description down below. If you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. And again, till next time, I've been Trimbark Tree. Thanks for watching.